You can turn subtitles on by clicking this symbol in the bottom right corner. By clicking the cog next to this, you can also adjust the playback speed to make the speech whatever speed you feel comfortable listening to. This video is split into different sections, which are called chapters. At any point, you can pause the video, take a break, and come back to the video at another time. To move through the chapters, you can use the timeline. Or below the video, in the description, you can see the different chapters listed out. And clicking on a chapter will take you to that section of the video. Hello and welcome to the Imaging Department. Imaging is the name we use for the department in the hospital where you can have pictures taken using special machinery to look inside your body. There are many different types of imaging that you can have here, including x-rays, CT scans and MRI scans. Today we're going to show you what is involved when having an x-ray. There are many different reasons that you may need an x-ray and you may have been sent here from your GP, a physio or another team within the hospital or community. You will usually book in at a reception desk. All reception desks look a bit different and ours looks like this. It would be useful to bring your appointment letter with you, but don't worry if you forget it. An x-ray is a picture of a part of your body. An x-ray can show what the bones and other parts of the body look like. The person who takes the x-ray is called a radiographer. An x-ray doesn't hurt and is similar to having your photo taken. You do have to get into certain positions though, and if you have an injury, this can be uncomfortable. This is one of our x-ray rooms. All x-ray rooms may look a bit different. The layout of the room, the equipment and the colours may be different in different hospitals, but they all have the same purpose. Usually, you will go into the x-ray room on your own and without a family member or friend with you. They will be able to wait outside the room for you or in the waiting room nearby. This is because x-rays use radiation and there are lots of rules that the hospital has to follow. Comfort items such as a teddy, a blanket or a chewing aid are allowed into the x-ray room. All comfort items in x-ray need to be held away from the body part being x-rayed. Registered service dogs are allowed into the hospital but not into the examination room itself. If you have a service dog, then somebody else must come with you to the hospital to look after your dog while you are having your x-ray. Our staff here are not allowed to look after your dog for you. If you wear ear defenders, then you can usually keep these on. They will only need to be removed if you are having an x-ray of your face or your neck. For certain examinations, and depending on your age, the radiographer may need to ask if you might be pregnant before they can take the x-ray. They will ask you to sign a form like this to confirm it. Sometimes you may need to change your clothes to have an x-ray. We have hospital gowns that you can wear if you need to. And we have changing cubicles for you to use. This is so that parts of your clothing like buttons, zips and clips can't be seen on the x-ray. You will need to remove your bra for examination such as a chest x-ray and some spinal x-rays. These are what our hospital gowns look like. These may have different patterns on them at different hospitals, but they usually follow the same style. The hospital gown ties up at the back. If you are sensitive to clothing, then wearing a pair of your pyjamas or a plain t-shirt and trousers with no buttons, zips, poppers or other fastening and no embroidery, sequins or metal is normally a good way to avoid needing to get changed. You will not need to change your clothes for x-rays such as fingers, hands, wrists, forearm, elbow, toes, feet and ankles. You may just need to remove your shoes and socks and roll up your sleeve or trouser leg. You may be asked to remove some jewellery for x-rays, such as taking off a necklace for a chest x-ray or removing a ring for a finger x-ray or a bracelet or watch for a wrist x-ray. You can keep the jewellery in the room with you and you will have time to put it on again before you leave. This is what we call the x-ray tube, and this is what takes the x-ray.
The tube can move around the room by using a remote control. This is how it moves and these are the noises it makes. The tube can also be moved by the radiographer by hand, like this. The radiographers can press buttons on the tube to get everything just right for the x-ray. This includes a light that will shine on the body part being x-rayed. This is what we call the detector, and the detector helps to record the picture. Sometimes the detector will stay hidden inside the equipment, and sometimes we need to put the detector underneath the body part that we are looking at. The detector and all the equipment can feel quite cold to touch. This is because it doesn't work as well if it gets warmer. The x-ray bed can move up and down and side to side. There will usually be paper on the x-ray bed. This is to help keep the beds clean. The paper is put into the bin after each patient has finished in the room and fresh paper is put on ready for the next patient. Please do not worry if the paper moves or rips. It is not a problem at all. For your x-ray you might be lying down, standing up, or sitting. You might be on a wheelchair, a trolley or a bed, depending on why you have come for an x-ray. For example, if you are having your hips or your back or your abdomen x-rayed, then you are likely to be lying down on the x-ray bed like this. If you are having your chest x-rayed, then you may be standing up like this. If you are having your wrist, hands, fingers, forearm or elbow x-rayed, then you may be sitting in a chair like this. The radiographer may put one of these markers next to the body part that you are having x-rayed. This is so the doctor who looks at the x-rays will know if it's your right or your left side of your body. There are many different ways to have an x-ray and the radiographer will explain how they need you to be positioned and you can ask them questions at any time. The radiographer may need to feel your body to get you in the right position for your x-ray. They will always be as gentle as possible. While the x-ray is being taken, the radiographer will go and stand behind this screen. You need to keep as still as possible while having your x-ray taken. This only takes a few seconds. Sometimes you will need more than one x-ray. This depends on the body part being looked at and the reason why you have come for an x-ray. Sometimes the radiographer may need to repeat the x-ray. This is nothing to worry about and may be because they need to change your position slightly or to move the position of the x-ray tube. Sometimes the radiographer will give you breathing instructions, but sometimes they won't. For example, they might ask you to take a big breath in and to hold it for a second while they do a chest x-ray. After you've had your x-ray, the radiographer will tell you that you can go and they will explain how you can get your results. Reasonable adjustments allow you to ask the staff to make small changes to your appointments so that they can accommodate you better and give you the best experience possible. This can be things like asking if the lights in the x-ray room can be dimmed or turned off, asking if there's a quiet waiting room that you can wait in, asking if your appointment can be scheduled at a less busy time of the day, or asking the radiographer to use simple language when explaining what is happening during the appointment. You'll find our contact details on your appointment letter, so you can get in touch ahead of the appointment to discuss any reasonable adjustments that you may need.